Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting the throne from HeroQuest. As you can see I have already cleaned it, prepared it and sprayed it white. I'm going to be painting all my HeroQuest miniatures from a white undercoat. I'm trying to keep the colours of the HeroQuest furniture vibrant and the white undercoat base helps a lot. first colour that I'm going to be using today is Hop Like Gold. Again, this is one of Army Painter's speed paints in the 2.0 range. It's very effective. The idea here being just to pick out the areas of the throne that you deem to be metal. I'm trying to keep the throne as ornate as possible without going overboard with one colour. Keep your work as neat as possible, but remember that we can repair any mistakes with our white paint later on in the process. Remember there is no right way or wrong way to paint this throne. You can paint it whatever colour you want, completely gold if that's what you want to do. Next colour is going to be Slaughter Red. I'm trying to keep my throne as similar as possible to the original Hero Quest game without going overboard. I'm choosing my colours purely on nostalgia. The original Hero Quest throne was gold, red and brown. I'm trying to keep mine the same. You can paint yours whatever colours you like. You could do blue for example for the leather. You could do brown for the leather. You could do the entire throne gold. You could do the entire throne wooden. It's entirely up to you. Again, stay as neat as possible but don't worry if you make mistakes because they're going to be corrected very shortly. And with that, the initial red leather is done. Now we're on to our white. And again I'm using the game colour Dead White from Vallejo. Using this white simply to fill in any mistakes that have been made by overpainting with the red or overpainting with the gold. Just take your time and remember any mistakes even here when you're correcting mistakes can be corrected again with the original colours. So part of this video didn't record but as you can see now we're onto the ruddy fur colour that we're going to use for our wood. The throne is not a big item so this shouldn't take a long time to do. Make sure and block in all the white areas leaving, leaving no white visible. Along with the two tables and the closed cupboard this is probably the easiest item in the set to paint. It only requires use of three main colours, unless of course you choose to go mad with your colour choices. That's entirely up to you. Once all the brown paint has dried, I'm going to give it a coating of Agrax Earthshade. This is going to add some definition to the gold especially and to the red leather 
it'll add some depth of shading to it. This takes very little effort and you can't really make a mistake, just don't let it pull too much on any of the surfaces. Allow this wash plenty of time to dry before the next step. Last but not least, we're going to make sure that the throne has a good coating of varnish. Again, this is just to protect it as it's going to be a playing piece. It won't be used in as many quests as some of the other pieces of furniture, but it will get used and handling will of course damage it if it's not varnished to protect it. This varnish will appear to be gloss when you're applying it, but it will dry matte. And that's it, completed article. I hope you like it as much as I do. I would appreciate your comments in the comments section. And please consider clicking the subscribe button, clicking the bell icon and clicking the like button. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been of some use to you.